Welcome to Fat Loss Dieting for Men Over 30, Part 1. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about macros and nutrition. And we're going to get you to start off right. First things first, let's address the elephant in the room. Yeah, everyone wants to lose weight. But it doesn't have to be as hard as people make it seem. So the first thing we're going to do before we ever get started on a fat loss phase is we're going to start to understand, like, what is it that you're currently doing? And the reason why this is so important is because everyone has a foundation and we want to build off of that instead of just completely changing everything. So what we need to do is you need to first things first is before you start losing weight, you need to figure out where you currently are. Now, how you do that is by tracking your food. You're not going to do anything different. You're not going to change your diet. You're not going to start exercising more than you already have been. The only thing you're going to start doing is you're going to get figure out a way to track your food. There's tons of ways you can do this. You can do this through my fitness pal, Google Sheets, Excel Sheets, or even the notes app on your phone. Now, I'm going to go a little bit into these real quick. So my fitness pal is personally what I use. It's super simple. It has a huge plethora of different uh, foods you can use. So basically, it's pretty cool too because it's like $10 per month or they have a free version. But basically what it is, it's, it's, a, it's an app food journal. You can set reminders. It tracks your steps. Um, and it's a great place to see like your total macros in one place. If you don't know what that is yet, don't worry. I'm going to go in that in a, in a later episode. So for example, if you have like a, like a donut or something, and you got it from like Tim Hortons or any restaurant, for example, let's just say McDonald's, you can just type it inside of there and it will pop right up. Or if you have something like, I don't know, uh, you have a can of something, like let's just say you got a can of black beans, you can scan that and it will automatically punch everything in there. The only thing you need to tell the app is how much food you had. So it makes that the act of tracking everything so much easier. I love it and it's definitely the best one in the marketplace. You know, Google Sheets slash Excel Sheets, it's pretty self-explanatory. Take your food, put it in there, put in the calories, and that's pretty much it. Same exact thing when it comes to notes. Although I would definitely recommend it, uh, getting yourself an app. It is worth the, the investment because it makes everything 10 times easier. Now, after a week or two of you start tracking, what this is going to do is going to tell you how many proteins you're usually having per, per day, fats, carbs. And those are the main important things. Now, after we have this data, we are then going to use it to build a plan. But from, from right now, I want to say also, this is a very key point. At this point, we're not going to try to start to change your diet and try to go on like uh, a fat loss uh, diet plan yet. Because the goal of this is we don't want to interfere with like your energy levels or your hormones. Because what happens is if you start to try to do too many things at once, you're just going to end up shooting yourself in the foot. And specifically too, when it comes to habits, the real reason why your tracking is so great is because it gives you a clear baseline of what you should uh of what you've been doing right or wrong. Now, this is a key point. The reason why we're only doing one thing at a time, the reason why we're not changing your diet yet or we're not changing your exercise yet is because it's it's very critical. On average, a human can only start to change no more than three habits at once. This means if you start to go past this, you're just gonna start to have a ton of, uh, bring or put a ton of uh, fatigue on your brain and it's gonna be damn near impossible for you to stay consistent. So like I said, consistency is key. So the only thing you need to do is so you start tracking all your food and don't do anything different. After doing that for one to two weeks, come back and watch the second video in the series. Make sure you watch the next video in the series and I'm explaining this in further detail.